which depicts brutal rape and murder, is to be screened at the incredibly strange film festival in Auckland and Wellington, providing an injunction doesn't stop it. Bay's Moi is about two women who, after being graphically raped, go on a killing spree. It is a dreadful movie. Absolutely garbage. New Zealand First Deputy Peter Brown isn't alone. The Society for the Promotion of Community Standards wants it banned. It's seeking an injunction from a High Court judge and won't comment until the case is heard on Thursday. Hamish Dixon works to rehabilitate sexual offenders and he's worried about the film's impact on them. They would, they would perceive these, the, the men in the film as, as victims. They would feel like victimising women as part, of, as part of that response. This sort of garbage going into people's brains does influence them. It does do harm. Incredibly strange film festival director Anthony Timpson says it is credible. Yeah, I would definitely want to fight for this film because I feel that it has got artistic integrity. And, and I'm not the only person that thought that as well in Time magazine thinks the same thing. And he says it's suitable for New Zealand audiences. Unless I think New Zealand audiences come from Mars because it's been available for basically screening in every country in the world. So unless we think we're something special or different from the rest of the world, it is, it's definitely suitable. Bay's Moi has a general R18 rating, which means it can be released on video. It's first scheduled to screen in Auckland on Saturday night, which means the High Court will have just two days to decide whether it'll actually reach theatres. Nikki Oma, 3 News.